Hi everyone, Alexa Dunn here and today I am going to be doing a beauty haul. I haven't done one of these before and I am not a beauty guru or a beauty tuber. In fact, I have used YouTube and beauty gurus and beauty tubers to learn so much about makeup as I've started to wear a lot more for filming, but I posted some of my haul from earlier this week on Instagram and someone suggested I do a haul video for YouTube, so I thought I would give it a try. So I am wearing a lot more makeup for YouTube videos. I'm trying to make an effort to, you know, I want my eyes to pop because I wear glasses and I, like, I always knew that it was a good idea to have my eyes pop behind my glasses. And I've, you know, wanted to have a more like smooth and less oily finish to my skin. So I've had to wear a lot more like foundation makeup that I don't normally wear every day. Though uh, nothing in this haul is like skin related. It's all the fun stuff. So I've got some eyeliners some eyeshadow and a little bit of lip product because I've also I've tried to be better with my lips as well so I'm going to start with eyeliner because I recently taught myself how to use liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna take off my glasses so that you can kind of see I think I'm getting okay at it so I am learning to do liquid eyeliner with wings um, I've watched some tutorial videos on this my favorite that really helped was by Tina Young and I will link to that below I'm a total novice I did actually try the tape method, but I think I'm just useless because it didn't really work for me. But So I've been learning to line my eyes with liquid eyeliner. I still like gel eyeliner, which was my go-to before, just kind of like a pencil. But uh, liquid's fun, and I love the colors that it comes in. So I decided to invest in some liquid eyeliner and get good at this. So the one that I am wearing is the... Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This was a YouTube recommendation in my, you know, watching different videos. I liked it because um, it has a, a brush applicator as opposed to the uh, felt tip because I had tried some felt tip liners in the past and I didn't like them. So I thought, hey, let's go higher, higher class on that. So it applies really nicely. Just look at that on my hand. Um, and of course, there are going to be better videos with better lighting, better gurus, and better swatches, but I thought I would show you that. I really like this. It's what I have on right now. It goes on like a dream because I am so novice. It's not too messy, and it, it allows for small mistakes, but the wing was especially really easy, so I am a huge fan of this. And I got this in Trooper Black. It only comes in two shades. The other one is a dark brown, and I think I'm going to go out and buy it because I like this one so much. Oh, and this, I believe, it was either $20 or $22. I will figure that out and I will put it in the description. I also invested in some fun colors because I wanted to do fun color liner. So I got two um, of the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liners. This one is in Retrograde, which is a really nice purple, of like a metallic purple. And I also got Snake Bite, which is a nice, like, bronzy light bronzy color I like this one because first of all it, it kind of allows for mistakes because it is a lighter liner color um, but also it is really nice for my green eyes so I will also show you these on my hand and these were 22 each and they were definitely 22 each which means Kat Von D must have been 20 because one was 22 and the other was 20 so this is snake bite it goes on nice and thin but it's like nice and metallic I really like it and because it is Reno the razor sharp is is the brand and they are really really thin again I find that it's it allows for me having to shake your hand or like trying to figure this out um, I like that it's forgiving in that sense and then this is retrograde me drawing a weird line that doesn't look like an eyeliner line <laughs> Guys, I, I'm just so not a beauty person. But I'm having a lot of fun playing around with these products. And, you know, God bless YouTube for all of the recommendation videos. Because I used YouTube to pick up all of these, except for the lip products, which I'm going to show you next. Um, I just kind of went into Sephora and used my best judgment of kind of, you know, brands that I knew I kind of liked and what I was looking for. So I wanted a really nice kind of deep pink-ish red lipstick. So I got... Um, Be Legendary Lipstick in Red Rage from Smashbox. I don't have it on, but it looks kind of like that. I've had it on in other recent videos, though, so you have seen this color. Um, I just wanted a nice lip pop color uh, that would 
go nicely with my teeth because if you wear the wrong color your teeth look more yellow so this one uh, makes my teeth look white which is nice um, and kind of goes with my skin tone and then I bought a lip liner um, I am terrible at lip liner but I thought I should make an effort so I bought um, a bite lip pencil this is in 096 and it's a very it's a very you know pinky red I bought it to match the Smashbox because they happen to be out of the Smashbox color that I think was supposed to go with the Smashbox lipsticks lipstick at Sephora and I was impatient and I wanted to buy it that day so that is the lip liner now for the grand event like the main crux of my haul I have spent so much money on eyeshadow in like three weeks and I blame YouTube it is definitely YouTube's fault and that's because I didn't really have a solid eyeshadow palette and I was watching videos and I was seeing people use terms like blendable and blend it out and I was seeing all the cool looks I was like I need a high quality versatile eyeshadow palette and so I bought four <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend that I went a little bit overboard but um, I bought four for a reason um, some of that was lack of self-control and some of that was a little bit of trial and error so I'm going to show you the first one that I bought so the first palette that I bought was a buxom palette this was $40 on Sephora and for $40 I got to mix and match eyeshadow shades but I did a search on the site and they didn't have the shades that I was looking for in the store and so I couldn't go in and swatch I am both blessed and cursed to live literally down the street from Sephora I pass Sephora every single day to and from work so I can pop into a Sephora anytime I want which is great and also now that I have this horrible makeup habit terrible so I picked up these shades online which meant I didn't get to test them and they look like this these are the ones that I got I mostly got this palette because I wanted this shade it is an iridescent purple and I I had a really amazing iridescent purple eyeshadow years ago when I was a teenager and I they kind of went out of fashion for a while and I have been jonesing for one ever since so when I saw this iridescent purple on someone on YouTube I thought okay I'm gonna do buxom and so I picked out I tried to do a variety I like kind of got like a pearly neutral I got a pink matte I got like a rose gold bronzy color I got my purple iridescent I got a bright pink fuchsia and then I got a like a blackberry plum it's shimmer um, I thought these would go really well together but what I discovered when I actually got this palette and I mean no shade on buxom and perhaps I made the wrong choices or perhaps I don't know what I'm doing but I just found that these weren't as blendable as I expected them to be for you know high quality eyeshadow some of them go well together but overall these just aren't very pigmented I wanted them to be more pigmented the pink especially gets very like muddled and dull and I, I just oh, haven't really been super happy with the looks. I'm happy with some of these individually. The matte pink is a very, very good base shade and I plan on using it going forward. Um, and the iridescent purple is a winner. It's a good color. Um, it does exactly what I want it to and I'm gonna use it kind of as a highlight color um, with certain looks. But as a palette that goes together, it didn't really deliver what I wanted. So I ended up back in Sephora's arms looking for a all-over general palette though actually I went to Sephora looking for this this is called glitter bomb it is a two-faced palette and I came upon this on YouTube and I was like I I require this in my life so I went in for this and I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this is so glitter it comes with an intensifying base and a brightening base to like better utilize the glitter shades so you can use these on your plain skin or with a glitter primer which I need to buy one I don't have one but I just I mean look at how rich these shades are oh my god and because I am not a beauty guru as I said I'm not the best person to like swatch these and show them to you because I just don't have that kind of lighting or filming setup but I will link to some of the glitter bomb videos I watch to see the swatches and decide to buy this because holy heck I'm just so excited to play with this um, but I was in the Too Faced section and they had another palette that I had watched a video on but kind of you know I actually chose the buxom palette over this palette when I was ordering online from Sephora 
And I, I wouldn't say I have regrets because I am happy about that purple. It's almost all worth it for the purple. But uh, this had been on my short list and it is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I'm going to show you the reason why it was so attractive to me. So, you know, I have very... I have very peachy toned skin and I like peachy colors. So this is what the palette looks like and you can see it has a lot of versatility in here, but a lot of like, you know, lighter, more neutral shades, but everything's peachy, has some nice like browns, but then it's got some really fun and bold colors. But I am just really excited to use this as an all over palette. I think I can do a lot with it. It has a mix of um, matte shades and kind of like pearly shades, shimmer shades, and it it smells like peaches, which is so weird. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I just get a kick out of it. The the, the palette, the, the, it smells like peaches. So I got this too. And this was 40 something and this was higher 40 something. I'm very bad at prices, um, but I definitely, between the two of these, it was about 100. So this must have been closer to 50. Um, and I just went, screw it. I'm gonna buy both of these because I live on the edge, but I'm not allowed to buy more palettes for a very long time. Except I had already placed an order online for the next beauty. I'm going to show you the, the crowning achievement of this haul. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. And I can't believe I hadn't heard of this before, but it is a Harry Potter eyeshadow palette. Harry Potter inspired. It is not official. This is not licensed content. But look at this beautiful, it comes in this packaging, this gorgeous like velveteen bag. And this is from Storybook Cosmetics. I had heard of them. They did the Harry Potter uh, brush wands, you know, makeup brushes that were like wands, um, which wasn't like up my street because I'm only now figuring out how to use brushes. I'm a total novice, but I was like, eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this is inside and why I had to get it. So first of all, it's shaped like a book. It's very, very shiny. You're gonna get some flashback on that. But you can put this on your shelf. It looks like a book. They even have like a fake like page design. And so it's incredibly sturdy. Like the packaging on this alone is incredible. And this was $52 and I think it's worth every penny. So when you open it up, you get your, your shades. So you are getting 12 shades that are Harry Potter inspired. And I'm not going to show you the mirror because of flashback, but this is a real mirror. They put a quality mirror in this palette. And as I watched reviews on YouTube, a lot of people mentioned that, which is a nice bonus. But I'm all about these colors. They're gorgeous. It is a mix of metallics. There is some matte in here and some like t um, shimmer shimmery colors. I, I need to learn all the official terms for this, but I got it because it has the Ravenclaw shades of my dreams. They have a bronzy color and all the reviews I saw describe this as like butter, that it goes on like butter. And I have to agree, this is the shade that I played with first and I really like it. And then it, the Merlin, the Ravenclaw blue, I really need to play around with this more because I don't think I used it to its best effect, but I also, I did play a bit with the Slytherin color, which is potions and the Gryffindor color, which is sorcerer the only downside is these are hand lettered names and you have to kind of think about what the heck they are they're not totally obvious when you first look at them but it just has a nice variety of colors and they go all they there are a lot of different like combinations you can do with these colors and I think this palette stands really, really well on its own. And I can think of multiple looks that I'd like to try. And I'm usually pretty boring and I get a palette and I'm like, I can think of like one thing I'm going to do over and over again. But this is a multi-look palette for me. And I actually have this on. And you have to excuse the fact that I, I, I really am a novice when it comes to makeup. Um, watching YouTube taught me what blending was. So I'm, I'm learning how to do that and try. But I'm going to take my glasses off so you can see. I have... Uh, I did like a Ravenclaw look and so I have the the buttery bronzy color which I think is broomstick it's bewitched it's bewitched um so I've got bewitched and Merlin and then I have broomstick which is like a, a darker bronzy brown I have that lining my eyes a bit on the bottom and I use prophecy which is the the matte kind of light color as my base and then I worked the um, bewitched bronze like up into the crease 
Um, so this is my kind of, you know, dramatic -y Ravenclaw look. Um, I like it. I will say the one thing that I discovered working with these colors, this specific combination, is that the, the blue, the Merlin, um, got lost a little. And I think it might be my application of it. I, I applied it on top of other shades and was trying to blend it. And I think it works best if I don't have stuff under it so it doesn't get muddied. Um, and it doesn't get muddied. I don't I mean, it, it, this palette blends well. The main thing is um, it's more pigmented if you use your finger to apply. The brush has a less pigmented application. And I would like to get more pigment on the blue. So I need to play around with it. But I am super excited to try more of the eyeshadow in this palette and like thumbs up $52 like for a lot of versatile shades that blend well that go on really well the ones that I put on blended beautifully compared to the buxom it was like night and day I was like this is what gurus mean when they say your eyeshadow should blend this this is how eyeshadow should be so thumbs up for me and then last but certainly not least I invested in a brush set because <laughs> I thought um it's, I, I invested in a cheap brush set so that I can figure out how to use them before I buy more expensive brushes because I am just clueless. So this is a Sephora set. It costs $40. And I got eyeshadow basics. So it's got like an all over brush and a tapered crease brush and a small brush and a... They have names. They have names. It's eyeshadow brushes and so far so good. Um, I, I used them and they did what they said and I did some blending and... I'm, I'm on my way guys. So that is my beauty haul for the month of August because I have to stop buying, I have to stop buying stuff guys. This is ridiculous. So that's what I got. Let me know down below if you found this interesting. I could try to figure out how to swatch things, but honestly there are some amazing people on YouTube doing fantastic work guiding hopeless people like me to buy the right products. So I am going to link you to some of my favorite videos that led me to buy these products in the description. And yeah, thank you for looking and seriously, uh, except for the Buxom palette, like so far, thumbs up to everything. I have to play around with my Too Faced palettes, which uh, the Sweet Peach palette and the Glitter Bomb palette. I did swatch them and try them in the store. So I have a pretty, you know, I'm pretty optimistic. This The Sweet Peach looked like it was blending really nicely in the store. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. As always, happy writing everyone, or in this case, happy makeup.